All right, everybody. Uh, it's to switch out the return cooler line on the 2006 through 11, I believe, uh, Chevy Impala, the 3.5 liter engine. I'm only recording this because every other video I saw on here uh, never showed an actual explanation on how to get it in and out since it's a pretty long hose. As you can see, there's two cooler lines going all the way back there in front of the car. And these are going to loop back around here. They're going to come under the CV axle. And one of them, the one going to the rack, is going to go over the rack and pinion and then go through the back. While the other one is going to go straight up to the uh, uh, return hose up here, the little connector that I have missing. Uh, Tried different ways to get it on, uh, get it in here. Getting it off was easy. I just had to cut it. But putting it back on in one piece is pretty hard because there's only one flex connector right here, one flex hose. Uh, what I had to do was remove the uh, passenger tie rod from the knuckle. Uh, removing the uh, sway bar uh, clamps and link pins helped out and then i had to drop the lower uh, bar joint from the knuckle and that way i could flex this with the pry bar and then move this out the way carefully not pulling out the cv axle and uh that's really the only way i was able to get it in here without having to drop any subframe uh bolts or components like how other videos explain it so there's all you really need to do just drop the lower ball joint passenger tie rod and and if you can remove the sway bar i believe it's gonna give you a lot more clearance it did it did for me so hopefully that helps you guys out um when installing it i installed this section the one going to the rack and pinion first put it in under here make sure you go make sure this side goes over the rack and pinion my, my first attempt i put it i put the hose behind it when it's supposed to go in front of it uh, so make sure you do that right it should go all the way up there and then uh, by loosening the ball joint and the control arm in the sway bar i was able to move the knuckle and the rotor assembly enough to the left or towards the rear of the vehicle and with the pry bar dropping the control arm enough to put this section in there and it just slid right in so hopefully that helps you guys out there all right